Where's my mom? Where's mom? Where's the birdie mom? Yeah. I don't know. Where's the birdie mom? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Tech News While Driving on March 7, 2016. I'm your host, Tony Hannity's. Uh, starting off this uh, morning with a sad bit of news. Ray Tomlinson, the inventor of many standards in email, has died. And that's my daughter. Um, basically, uh, you know, uh, back when email was uh, being birthed, he was the one that essentially... In a 2012 interview, he said he looked at the keyboard and said, What symbol is pretty much being used the least? And it was the, well, the one that we know as the at symbol. And he also was uh, per, um, responsible for the standards of, you know, a, uh, a subject line, a from, and of course the date and everything. So, uh, rest in peace, Ray Thomason and, uh, our condolences to the family. Apparently, he died um, in the middle of the night last night uh, due to um, a sudden heart attack. So, at the age of 74, he will be missed. So, if you're an Android and you're a fan of the material design that they rolled out on Android a few years ago, the popular app Facebook Messenger will soon get an update to mimic material design. They're taking it on, and essentially, you're going to have the floating button on the bottom right hand corner it's going to look a lot more flat pastel -y colors so if that's your kind of thing just wait for the next update and it will be a little bit cleaner and a little bit more copacetic to how google wants to interpret the design language for android so there's more and more oems that are offering phones at a price which you can pay in installments including motorola which is lenovo and now OnePlus can be added to that game. According to OnePlus announced today, you can get their devices and if you pay more than $99, you can opt in for an installment pay plan for as low as $18 with the OnePlus X or over $22 for the OnePlus 2. Now you do have to select PayPal credit, which means that you will have to pass somewhat of a credit check. So if you're not in that realm over that certain amount in your FICA score, then you're going to be kind of out of, the, uh, out of the game. But if you're above that and you don't want to shell out over $300 for a new device, this might be an option for you. Hey, what are you doing? If you've been waiting for Project 5 but you haven't yet received your invite, fret no longer. Now Project 5 is open to everybody. And as an added bonus, you can get the Nexus 5X at a discount of only $199. That's $150 off the MSRP assuming you activate it through Google Fi. So go to Google Fi's website, sign up, and let us know what you think. As a reminder, Google Fi works off of both Sprint and T-Mobile, starts at $20 for entrance and $10 per gig of data. Any gigabytes that you don't use get refunded back to you. What do you think? She doesn't like it. I'm not really one to really focus on leaks and rumors and things like that, especially when it comes to Star Wars stuff, but this was quite intriguing in the fact that we haven't really heard anything with Star Wars Rogue One Anthology, and now we have a leaked trailer for the upcoming film. Now, in the trailer, there's not a lot that it shows. There's some AT-ATs or AT-ATs, there's a TIE Fighter or two, and some familiar scenes, what might look to be from, um, well, it wouldn't be... Um, it wouldn't be Endor, but it would be um, Yavin? I think Yavin. Sorry, y'all Star Wars fans are going to kill me. But the fact is, it's coming, and uh, we'll be here and ready and waiting. Today, Facebook announced that they're rolling out a plugin for WordPress if you want to embed your articles as a instant article. So if you're not familiar with what instant articles are, essentially on an iOS or Android device, if you open up a New York Times article or anything of uh, some of the major publishers, it'll instantly pop up instead of having to link to a cached website and take a few seconds. This will just pop up and be in a, a native interface within Facebook. And this plugin, which is available via GitHub, will also allow you to watch embedded video and sound. So 
Um, if you're into that sort of thing, if you're a, a content creator and you want to have your articles and your content populate in Facebook almost instantaneously, like us at Lazy Tech TV, we might go ahead and do this. This is definitely something that we're interested in, in considering that it's open source and free. Why not? Now, I know there's some questions about, well, not questions, but there's the, the con concern about how much Facebook would be taking from advertising versus how much the actual publisher would be taking. But at the end of the day, the more places that you have your stuff, the better. This is it. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. Uh, it was pretty short and sweet, and as you can see, not a lot of driving. But tomorrow, there will be a lot of driving and a lot of awesome news. So thanks a lot for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, Instagram. And we will see you guys in the next one. Late.